Hi, my name is Chester, and today we're going to explore the QCAT envelope filter stomp box designed by CKK Electronics for Simvertech sound innovations. So, let's get started. The QCAT provides four controls to maximize the tonal effects possible with this envelope filter. Those controls are resonance, sensitivity, frequency, and the little switch to the right is called recovery. So as we go, I'll set the controls on the QCAT so that you can really hear what the current control sounds like. Also, I've pre-recorded a guitar loop for our listening convenience. That way I can easily manipulate the controls on the QCAT and you can really hear what they sound like. In the upper left, we see the resonance control. This control determines the tone of the effect but it's not a tone control in the traditional sense, but rather a mix of tone and presence. You'll hear as I turn the knob clockwise how the effect transitions from somewhat dark to brighter and more intense. It actually has the effect of bringing out the upper harmonics of the quack. Next, we have the sensitivity control, which is one of my favorite features of the QCAT. It allows me to adjust the effect to my playing needs. For example, if I'm playing with a heavier pick, this could result in more output from the guitar. So to compensate for this, I would simply turn the sensitivity control counterclockwise until I found the tone that I'm looking for. With this control turned completely counterclockwise, the filter will not open. And conversely, with it turned completely clockwise, the filter will not close. Simply adjust this to your playing style and desired tone. So let's give a quick listen to get an idea of what this control sounds like. In the upper right hand corner is located the frequency control. This simple control is extremely effective in controlling the tonal color of the QCAT. If we think of the quack as occupying a given frequency range from open to close, then this control slides that range up and down. As we turn the knob counterclockwise, you will hear that the overall tonality of the effect is brighter. And as we turn the control clockwise, you will hear that the overall tonality becomes darker. So give it a listen. Finally, on the right side of the pedal, just below the frequency control, you will find a switch labeled recover. This switch controls how quickly the envelope filter returns to the closed position. When I play and manipulate the control, you will notice that when the switch is set to fast, the filter recovers quickly and the effect quacks on almost every attack. However, when it's set to slow, the filter recovers slower and does not necessarily quack on every attack. Give it a listen. One final tip that I would like to offer is that it will be very helpful if you experiment with all the QCAT's controls at the same time. One of the beautiful features of this stomp box is how the interplay of the controls result in very musical results. That concludes our instructional overview of the QCAT envelope filter stomp box from Sinvertech. If you have any questions or to find out more about additional products, email the manufacturers at sinvertech at sinvertech.com.